For years, we've heard this refrain that music royalties are becoming a legitimate new asset class. Mm -hmm. The cash flow from a hit song, every time it gets streamed or played. But let's be honest, for most of us, it's always felt a bit more like speculation, not really backed by hard data. It has. You see these headlines, right? Mega deals for legendary catalogs. But when you look at the actual nuts and bolts, there's no clear pricing mechanism. Right. So our mission today is to dive into this really rigorous financial study that finally tries to treat music royalties, mm. these claims on future income, exactly like stocks or bonds. Using quantitative models to measure the real risk and return. That's yeah. a heavy lift. Because on the surface, the theory is simple. You buy a piece of a song, you collect the cash. Sounds easy. But pricing these things has been historically almost impossible for a regular investor. Why has this market been so, so opaque for so long? Well, it really just boils down to illiquidity and information asymmetry. Yeah. I mean, think about equities. They trade constantly, every day. Music royalties. Not so much. Transactions are rare. The market's fragmented. The deals are bespoke. And you often don't have perfect information about the cash flow or the contract. So you get high transaction costs and a huge challenge in just figuring out a fair price.